Welcome back for another video. One of the best things about Microsoft Teams is how great it is for collaboration. Because of the nature of the way Teams is set up, you automatically have opportunities and spaces where students can go ahead and create and collaborate together without having to go through the traditional options of sharing files and everything else that you would have in OneDrive or through email and things like that. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the class notebook collaboration space as well as the file space that automatically allows students to edit the files that they see in there. So let's start with the class notebook. If I click on that from the general channel, remember that I can see the entire notebook. After it opens up, I can expand that menu over here with this arrow. And then I've got the collaboration space that you can see right here. If I hit that arrow right there, I can drop it down and I can see the other things. Anything we put in this collaboration space is gonna be available to all of our students. So they have that instant ready to go channel or place for them to be able to communicate and collaborate on those same pages. We could create a different page for each group and you don't even have to do anything ahead of time as a teacher. You can tell your students, go in, create a new section and a new page for your project and your group and just get going right away. You do have to teach your students about not sabotaging other people's work and there's always those fears that you have, but I do think with proper training of your students, you can get into this stuff and your students can take off right away and do what they need. We're not gonna go into the in-depth pieces of how to do all that right here. There's other OneNote videos available to us. So the other option that you have is through files. Just like you can work in the collaboration space, you've got this files area up here. I created a couple of examples in the past too and we talked about them in some other videos, but if I click on unit two, I already have folders that I as the teacher went ahead and created and called them group one, group two, whatever else I needed. And I can just tell my students after I've grouped them, hey, in the files area, you've already got a group one folder. I need you to get in there and start building your content and doing the things that you need to do. They can go in, they can create a PowerPoint. Once they do that, so group two is ready to go, one member of the team just comes up here and says new, new PowerPoint presentation, they name it, they say create, they're instantly brought into that PowerPoint online activity that they're ready to again go ahead and edit. Any other student that's gonna need to see that is just gonna come up here and click on files then. They're gonna click in their unit two folder, they're gonna click on their group, and they're gonna instantly see this PowerPoint presentation that one of their other members just created. They drop, click on the drop down box right here next to edit. They say edit in Teams and all of them are up and running ready to go right now. So I love the quick ability with the fact that everybody has edit access to the different files that are available in there and that they have the collaboration space within a OneNote notebook because it makes it super easy for your kids to be up and running, working together on a project in no time flat. So that's just a couple quick ideas for you. Hope this video comes in handy as you're thinking about scenarios that you can use. Let us know if you have any questions or if you have any specific topics you wanna to see for future videos. Thanks a lot.